and welcome to the Ski Club Snowcast. This week we've got all the latest snow conditions, more top tips from Al, plus a slice of the action from the Free Ride World Tour. First though, a report from this year's Everest Challenge that took place last week all to raise money for charity snow camp. Despite taking part in the challenge themselves, Rosie and Ben from the Ski Club also managed to film in and around the Port de Soleil region. So the Everest Challenge is a 48 hour ski-a-thon and board -a -thon. Uh, involving two days of non-stop skiing and boarding, two night stages including a night hike and a night ski and it's an endurance challenge to try to ski or board 150 kilometres in two days uh, and we've had 52 people on this challenge uh, from all different areas of the ski industry, the transport industry and corporate world and students and it's been a fantastic, fantastic event. So far the teams have raised over £20,000 for the charity which uses a unique combination of skiing, snowboarding and life skills programmes to support inner city young people. A fantastic effort from everybody involved. You can still donate to the cause at Just Giving to Ben, Rosie or the Snow Camp page. All the links are below. Time now to find out about the snow conditions around the world. Here's George with the latest. Earlier this week, resorts across the Alps received notable snowfall and in places heavy cloud continues to persist. This is the case in Austria, where the snowfall will help keep the peaks in great shape. The cold temperatures will help with this too, although in some places, such as Caprun, the mercury has dipped as low as minus 22. On Thursday, it was pretty cold in Switzerland too, but clear sunny skies prevailed at Sasfe, Zinal and Zermatt. There's plenty of powder in Italy too. Cortina has done particularly well out of the recent snowfall, getting a 20 centimetre top up. Substantial snowfall was welcomed earlier this week in France as well. It's starting to clear now and the sun is shining in many areas, including the Port de Soleil. Andorran resorts, which have been relatively dry so far this season, got up to half a metre of snow earlier this week. So there's finally some powder in the Pyrenees. Western Canadian resorts, including Red Mountain, Big White and Whistler, have enjoyed recent powder. And resorts in both Colorado and California have welcomed fresh snowfall too, which has greatly improved conditions at many ski areas. Thanks, George. It's great to see that North America has finally received some fresh snow. And if you're heading to the Alps, wrap up warm. Moving on now to the latest in our series of Al skiing tips. This week, Al's made a friend to help him store his skis. It's lunchtime, so what do you do with your skis? Well, I tend to split them with my friend, that way I've got an odd pair, people are less likely to walk off with them by mistake. Thanks. Just pop them in the rack. If there's no rack, on the snow is the same principle. Don't forget the poles. And the other pair just gets put somewhere else. Finally in this snowcast, the Freeride World Tour landed in Europe last week. The tour continued in Chamonix and Courmayeur, which saw some of the best riders in the world take on the formidable terrain. You can watch all of the winning runs on Ski Club TV, but for now, we're going to leave you with just some of the highlights. Enjoy! One second, number 37, 3, 2, 1. 